what's going on fight fans boxing socialist here give you a little update so you probably asking what does that title mean Amir Khan hanging on for dear life car edition well it's a car edition because I'm in my car but Amir Khan hanging on for dear life Amir Khan Things didn't pan out for American like he wanted it to um, with the Floyd Mayweather fight. They strung him along for a good um, a good year. Uh, but uh, the Marcus Madonna second fight should have never happened. It should have went to American. And I don't, I personally don't think the fans could care less if he fought Marcus Madonna again for a second time. I would have rather seen Amir Khan. I hate when Floyd Mayweather fights the same fighter twice. One was the Castilla fight, and of course the other one, the Madonna fight. Um, that's just me, though. But, you know, he got strung along. You know, I'm hearing that there was promises made, uh, but they never came through. And now here we have the Manny Pacquiao fight. And I guess that has fell through also. Um, man, the crazy thing about American, I don't get. He's the only one I know. The only one I know. That can use his mouth. To get himself into a fight. And then use the same mouth to get himself out of it. You only wonder I can get yourself in a fight and then get out of it at the same time. Are you are you serious? Bob Aram even went on to say the other day, he said American just talks way too much. That's why fights fall through with him. And I have to agree, there's a lot of people, Amir, that feel that you just you just doing too much talking. But I understand, you know, the concept behind that. You got to do something to try to keep yourself relevant, keep yourself in the game. But during the meantime, as you see right here, that American is working out. He's training. And um, we don't know who he's going to fight next. It definitely ain't going to be Kell Brook because Kell Brook gets injured when a mosquito lands on him. Mosquito land right on Kell Brook. Oh, my shoulder. What happened? Mosquito landed on me. I mean, Kel Brook is like, he has so many injuries, it don't even, it don't even make sense. You know, he go to punch the bag, oh, tennis elbow. I'm like, Kel, we, you punching a punching bag, tennis ain't got nothing to do with this. I got tennis elbow, though. Well, let's postpone it for another three months. So I, I don't know what be going on with uh, Kel Brook. So I don't I don't know who's left for him to fight. I don't know. But anyway, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um the American, he's just he's out there. He's a vagabond. He's a wonder. He's searching for a meaningful fight. Who would you recommend that American fights next? Who do you want to see American fight next? The only other option that we're hearing right now is the Danny Garcia rematch at 147 pounds. I don't know. Maybe things are different at 147. Maybe he's stronger, better, and faster. Maybe Danny won't be able to catch him. I don't know. But leave your thoughts and comments below and let me know what you think. Boxing Socialist, we out. Make sure you subscribe or else.